quick video looking at the marksmanship side of the tree. Uh, overall, I kind of like this uh, pretty well. Uh, it does feel a little bit weird that you're giving rapid fire, but not really able to get the stuff that buffs rapid fire anymore. Um, so it goes back to just being a button that you press, um, but it doesn't really have any rotational interactions with the rest of your spec. Uh, I talked about that in my previous video. I still think this talent is kind of annoyingly placed, and I'm not sure the strength of it warrants that you would actually want to be taking it. Um, I guess you could, in theory, drop it and get something else in the top of the tree, either the kill shot chance or the streamline stuff. Um, we'll say you get that instead, maybe, because that might be worth it. Probably not. That's probably more worth it. Anyway, uh, so now you've opened up the bottom of the tree. Now here's the problem, is to get, reach Legacy of the Windrunners, you still basically have to waste a talent point getting Deadeye. And the problem is you can't get over to Deathblow, which is how you'll activate um, kill shots above 20% HP on the boss. So this talent is wasted 80% of the fight, and then it only gives you one extra kill shot over the course of a boss fight. So it's very, very wasted. Um, like this, for example, if you shoot four arcane shots, this has given you one extra arcane shot. So if you're ever shooting more than four arcane shots, this is giving you an extra cast of that ability. Uh, here, you know, if you're casting 10 aim shots or 10 rapid fires, these are effectively, this talent point is giving you effectively an entire extra aim shot or rapid fire in a fight, you know, things like that. And how many aim shots and rapid fires are you casting in a boss fight? Probably 30, 40, 50, 60 plus, you know, like easily. Uh, same with this stuff, same with this stuff. So that's kind of annoying that this is just, compared to some of these other talents in the tree, this is worth like fractions of a decimal of a percent compared to some of these other ones basically but uh you're able to get lock and load you're able to get calling the shots able to drop down to get unerring vision you definitely want to get bullseye um and now here you have like three points left to spend so you have the choice between windrunner's guidance wailing arrow and serpent stalkers it will kind of depend i'm gonna say on single target this is i think going to be worth it i think it's it is kind of weird that they've put bullseye all the way down here they want you to be forced basically into taking legacy of the windrunners it does make more thematic sense but now you only have one point left and i'm not sure whether serpent stalker's trickery and just spending the global that you'll have to spend on a serpent sting to keep up time on single target will be worth um taking wailing arrow and not taking this talent or whether it's going to be worth it that you'll go like this it does seem kind of weird that you're going to get the ability to take Wailing Arrow, but maybe not the ability to take it. I do think Wailing Arrow is still now very much on the single target side of the tree, right? Like, this doesn't do anything for AoE. This is probably not that worth an AoE. Uh, Killshot, also probably not that big an AoE. And so you're taking one, two, three, four points just to access Wailing Arrow, where it would be fit better on the left side of the tree, which is more like the AoE Mythic Plus kind of side. I think it could be maybe something that drops off the side of Volley or something like that. Um, and you still have the killshot talent, again, here, separate from uh, deathblow, stuff like that. So that's one kind of feedback I have for that so far. Uh, if we go for more of a AoE-focused build, I think you're going to skip all that, basically. Um, but now you need to spend the points to open up that side of the tree, so you're definitely going down here. Um, and now here's the main problem with the AoE side of the tree, right? Let's say I'm doing Mythic Plus. I'm doing, like, sustained AoE stuff, right? The worst talent points on the tree now are these two talent points, but they're kind of required because the only other, like, if I, uh, if I just get rid of this stuff, right, like, I need, um, enough points in this area to reach the lower part of the tree, and, like, all the rest of this stuff is pretty required on AoE. I mean, improved steady shot, maybe you could skip, but this talent basically has zero value on aoe because it doesn't affect multi-shot at all so i want to be able to not get those talent points and maybe get rapid fire spend these two points and then i only need to spend one point and i could get careful aim or something like that or i'm having to get kill shot which is also not useful in aoe but i obviously need to spend these two talent points just to get access to rapid fire which is one of my like core aoe buttons right um and then we're still spending 13 points in the top part of the tree in aoe and like, 11 is passable. I think 11 is doable. Even though you only need 8, 11 is, like, maybe acceptable. But the problem is I'm having to waste two talent points completely, basically. Um, so that's a little bit weird. 
and annoying, I would say. Uh, getting volley, we're probably getting some sort of surging shots, lethal shots. I don't know. It will depend on what those are worth or not. Do we need death blow? That's the question. We probably want double tap. We definitely want lone wolf. So now we've opened up the bottom. We spent one extra telepoint to do it, but that's okay. Uh, we kind of want lock and load, so that's another kind of thing, is maybe lock and load should have a drop down node from Lone Wolf, a connection there, because AoE wants lock and load, like AoE likes lock and load about as much as single target does. Uh, AoE definitely probably can't get Wailing Arrow anymore, so we can get Bombardment for sure, we can get Light Ammo, uh, we probably get Salvo still, and then is Unerring Visions worth getting? Then we have one talent point to spend. What are we spending it on? Are we spending it on True Aim? Are we spending it on Death Blow? Probably not spending it on Death Blow, right? Because then we also need um, Razor Fragments just to get the AoE portion of that. Yeah, AoE feels weird. We probably don't want Serpent Stalkers, right? Maybe it is just this. But that just for multi-shot damage? That feels wrong. I don't like AoE. I don't like that I have to waste two points up here. For sure. Because if I could spend one, two, that would be pretty good. Hmm. And this gives you a bit more points, so let's say that's worth it. Then I can't still get both of these points. Whereas, if Wailing Arrow was over here, and I didn't have to spend these two talent points here, I could get one Wailing Arrow. Or one, you know, one down here, Wailing Arrow off to the side here, or something, right? I think maybe this Salvo should go underneath Sharpshooter. This should become a diagonal connection, and Light Ammo becomes in the place of where Salvo is, and maybe Wailing Arrow is off to the side, or something like that. And you have three points down here, but then you need something else on the lower right side. Maybe that's where Bullseye is? Because that definitely feels like a capstone type of thing, right? You could make that a one-point talent and just give the 30% uh, the crit as a one-point talent coming off the side of, like, Serpent Stalker's Trickery. Or you have, like, from Double Tap, connection to Le Legacy of the Windrunners or something instead of this connection from Deadeye to Lone Wolf because that's probably never going to get used. But a connection this way would make more sense. And then you have, like, Legacy of the Windrunners, when we're just guidance bullseye at the bottom or something like that. That would be my suggestion for the MM side of the tree so far. Uh, definitely still has some issues, but much better overall. Definitely we're getting a lot closer here. I think one or two more iterations and this will end up being like basically perfect. And overall, I'm very happy with the communication and the changes they've made so far.